In this video today I'm going to look at the first part of using bearings to help you determine the direction you need to travel in. Today's first part is going to be how to take a bearing from the map using a compass. For the video I'm going to assume that we've arrived here at this car park and we are going to try and get to the top of Alt Mountain here. But we've arrived and it's in thick fog, we can't see the top of the mountain. How do we take a bearing to determine which way we need to go? So I'm going to line the compass up, the, the edge of the compass along a line that joins the two spots, our start and our destination. Now you'll also notice just here on the compass, there's a little arrow, that's called the direction of travel arrow. We have to remember that we always, always make sure that that direction is pointing in the same direction we're going to be traveling to make sure we get the right bearing. So that's the first part. We line up, set the compass on the map, making sure that the edge is in line with the two spots that we're traveling to. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to take the, uh, the compass housing and we're going to turn it around so that the north on the compass housing, you can see here, so it lines up with north on the map. Now you'll notice in the compass housing there are lots and lots of little lines there. Those are called orienting lines and the idea of those is those are to help you uh, judge with the grid lines um, whether the north is pointing exactly north or not. So I have just a little tiny hair to move it. That's us now. Um, once we've done that then the compass is all lined up. So north on the rumour matches north on the map and our direction of travel lines up the two points from where we're, uh, where we're starting from and where we're going to. All we have to do is to lift the compass off the map and read the bearing. So we have the little black line there is the compass index and we can see there that each little tick is two degrees. The larger tick between 60 and uh, 80 is 70 so we can see that's 74 degrees. So that's how we take our bearing from the map. So again just to recap we take a line between our two points, we line the compass up with the direction of travel in the right direction. We turn our housing to point north on the map and then we can pick it up and we can read our bearing directly off the index. I demonstrated the first part, how to take the bearing from the map. The next part will be how to take that bearing and to use it to navigate in the right direction.